Now Marion County, Marion County is not the Marion County it used to be. Show land. You know, Marion County was a progressive county for black folks. Mm -hmm. You know, in Ocala, we didn't have to mingle with the white section of town. We were the color at that time. Show sure was. Colors. And you know, since we're talking about it, let me tell you, I have been four or five different things in my <laughs> lifetime. I've been, uh, I've, I've been a Negro. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been black. That's but one right. thing I am definitely and truthfully, I'm colored. Even though, of course, they use it derogatorily. I'm still colored, and I'm always going to be colored. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, it's this Afro-American that got me being now. Ain't nobody in my family I can trace back to no way. Mm-mm, sure lame. Now, somebody somewhere along the line, way back when, <laughs> came from Africa. Mm -hmm. and, and because my skin is brown, they're going to say my people had to come from Africa. But what if I come from one of them Hawaiian islands or Tahiti or something uh -huh, like that? Because they brown skin they brown too, brown. you know. You know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, like I was saying, people just don't know. Oh, they you don't, they don't know it. Y'all no. hush now. Can I say what I'm trying to say? Go on then. <laughs> now in Marion County, everything we ever wanted was in the covered section mm -hmm. of town. I mean, all the businesses, right? Even had that uh, had that movie house, the Roxy Theater up yeah, there on Broadway. That. Yes. See, we didn't have to go to the white folks' movie houses like the Marion, because when you go to the mm -hmm. white folks' movie theater, oh, they'd make us walk up that fire escape and sit in the balcony. <laughs> so we did not go mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. We went to the Roxy. That's right. Yes. yes. Now on Saturdays. You know when I was going to school there, they had a colored band. Owned by colored people. Mm -hmm. yes. On the corner of Broadway and Magnolia mm -hmm. Street. Color mm -hmm. business is all up and down mm -hmm. Broadway. Yes, but on know. Saturdays. You know, hold on now. You know, I don't know another colored bank in the state of Florida, mm -hmm. but Ocala had a bank, a, a colored bank. Mm -hmm. Black owned businesses all up and down yes, Broadway. It was. On yes, Saturdays, you could find everybody shopping up on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all the colored people in Marion County knew each uh, other. Everybody <laughs> yeah. knew everybody. Yes. Yeah. Y'all done? As I was saying, not just the whole county, but people from Ocala and everybody would be coming into town. I mean, everybody would be up there on Broadway. I am not joking. Oh, yeah. the middle of the street having, yeah. having a good time. Yeah. And Gainesville had, was, had it going on too. Mm -hmm. Then we would go up on the bricks on Fifth Avenue and Pleasant mm -hmm. Street. That was the place to be. Mm -hmm. Seminary Lane. <laughs> Remember Sarah McKnight's place? Mm -hmm. A mom's kitchen yeah. in a uh, Wabash Hall. Mm -hmm. And they had the Rose Theater. I remember going there as a child. Mm. It's not like that anymore. Mm -mm. No, sure. Nobody knows anybody anymore because it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Colored folk done changed. Well, hell, I know, I know where the white folks ain't changed. Everything's still the same. Rosewood. Mm. Now, before y'all came here to Marion County, how was it out there in Rosewood? Mm -hmm. We had some pretty rough times down mm -hmm. there. Sure mm -hmm. did. Sometimes the, the fellas they'll go out there and uh, they'll, they'll shoot deer or something like that. They'll, Skid it and leave it in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. We have to go ride or whatever. Mm -hmm. They put rats and stuff in our mailboxes. Oh, Some pretty rough times down there. Sure was. Mm -hmm. Hey, you remember, remember, remember Scoggins in the, in the Japanese wire? Now, yeah, now, now those were some good people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what was her name? Uh, 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 Hunky or monkey or something. Her name was Fuji. That. Yeah, that's it, Fuji. I knew it was something like that. Yeah, she gave me some Fuji. honey or something like that mm -hmm. one time. Yeah, the Scoggins, they, they, they was pretty nice as far as I was concerned. Man. We knew them, we knew them pretty well. Yeah, we knew everybody. Yeah. And everybody in Rosewood certainly knew us. <laughs> you know, uh, the history, it, it repeats itself in Rosewood. Well, now, what you mean by history repeats itself? I mean, everybody knows what it means, but what do you mean by it? In 19 and 23, when all the commotion started in Rosewood, when they started chasing all the people of color away. Mm, the Rosewood Massacre. Mm -hmm. The only first people of color to move back into Rosewood after that was Chase started in 2003, seven days before Christmas. The 18th of December, 2003. I remember it because it was my grandbaby's That's birthday. Right. Mm -hmm. You see, in um, 1977, I, I talked to Jim King about buying some, about buying some land. I was looking for about, about five acres where I could raise some hogs and some chickens where I won't be, be, be bothering nobody. He took me up to Rosewood. Now, I ain't, I ain't know nothing about no Rosewood. Never even heard of the place. So uh, we went up there and uh, came in. Not the road I usually take to get to his house, but it was another road mm -hmm. to come in from, from the back way. He brought me in there and we went in uh, on both sides of the road. But nothing but palmetto trees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And palmetto palms. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. 40 acres of palmetto yeah. trees. 40 acres and yes. $400 an acre. Yes. I said, nah, not nah, sign. 
No, no. All I need is five acres. But he looked at it. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't going to buy it. We get, to, we get to his office and I say, uh, about them 40 acres. Will you take 300 acres for it? He said, no, no, no. I can't do that. Oh, but Mr. Kane came back and he said, can you give me $500 oh. down? <laughs> I had 3500 in, in my pocket. Right and, so I, I said, uh, we you take a check, an out-of-state check? <laughs> so I wrote him a $500 check on the bank of Washington, D.C. for them 40 acres. Mm -hmm. In Rosewood, That's right. not knowing. Mm -mm. Not knowing nothing at all. Not knowing. <laughs> you, heard, you heard the saying, 40 acres? 40 acres in a mule? That's right. <laughs> 40 <laughs> acres in a mule. In Rosewood. Yes, I did. I had 40 <laughs> acres in a mule. But uh, what I found out was the property I bought once belonged to colored people. The colored people ran away to avoid the massacre and all? No, they yeah. left all that property. Mm -hmm. All that property. See, them rich white people up there in uh, Chiefland mm -hmm. put all that land down there. Mm -hmm. See, I found all that out as the years went by. Mm -hmm. Now, that's how I got the road. Mm -hmm. Now, I said all that to say what I said. <laughs> Get to the point, Daddy. Get to the point. December 18th, <laughs> 2003. Seven days before Christmas, mm -hmm. my grandbaby's birthday. My brick home decided to catch fire and destroy itself. Mm, sure did. Completely destroy itself. I mean, we had nothing left. I had nothing left on my back but the, but the clothes on my back. Mm -hmm. Everything gone, material, yes. everything. Even the money we had in the house burned up. Mm -hmm. Seven days before Christmas. Mm. Get out of town. Yeah. We had to. That's right, we had to. Because I want to rebuild my home. And Levy County refused to give me a permit to rebuild my house, my own house, my own land. That's why I say history repeats itself. See, all this, all this, all this time done gone by. We done went from color to black. But there ain't too much really change, except what they called us. <laughs> 